Hey guys, I'm just testing the audio. I'll be on in just a few minutes. Uh, but yeah, let's make sure that the audio works first. Hey, I just wanted to show you this cat because this cat is being a little brat right now uh, before I kick him out. Okay, I'll be back in just a second as I kick this cat out. Alrighty, let's turn me up just a little bit. There we go. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, happy Sunday. Today, we are going to be crocheting oh, right there. There's a little picture right there. We're going to be crocheting Chubzilla. So I asked you guys um, what colors to make um, Chubzilla in and a record breaking number of people voted today uh, for blue and purple so I'm gonna be doing the body in light blue uh, and the the little stomach area that's yellow in the picture with purple with this light purple and then the dark purple for his the spine that goes on his neck on the back I'm using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton uh, I think I'm using lily sugar and cream for all this just uh, so you know if you have that um, and I'm using a size whoop, 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 G four millimeter crochet hook uh, because it's all for worst of weight yarn. You can use any kind of yarn and crochet hook that you want as long as they work well together. Um, you'll also need some safety bead eyes. I'm using eight millimeter safety bead eyes for this project. And you'll need a pair of scissors and a darning needle. All right, well, while you guys are getting that together, uh, let me just quickly say 
Hello, everybody. Um, I hope you liked my cat. Uh, he won't be joining us, I don't think, for the live stream unless he's really bugging us at the door. Um, but that's Jimbo. He is my best buddy. Uh, and yeah, we have two cats. We have Jimbo and Phoebe. Okay, so if you want to get the pattern too, uh, the pattern is totally free. It's You can find it right here. Um, there's links in the description below as well. You just got to go to clubcrochet.com slash chubzilla. This pattern is actually not originally designed by me. It's designed by another Amy Groomy artist that goes by Geeky Hooker. Um, this is a pattern from, I think, a year or two ago. I reached out to her and, and asked if she wanted to do a little collaboration. Uh, so she came back with this uh, really funny, uh, chubby T-Rex, and we decided to call it Chubzilla, like Godzilla, but chubby. Anyhow, uh, so go check out her stuff. Uh, you can find her at geekyhooker.com, I think. you can. Uh, she's also got a few books out. Um, check her out. Google her. Uh, Geeky Hooker. She's really cool. She's really, really cool. And she makes some really uh, unique little characters and does some drops for, um, uh, like, she hides little crocheted pieces at different places and stuff. Anyhow, go check her out. She's awesome. In the meantime, while you guys are... Oh, yes, we are going to be announcing the competition winner. Don't worry. I forgot to find that out. Uh, uh, I forgot to look that up right now, but um, I... I definitely will be doing that. Um, uh, YouTube. Yes, we'll be doing that in the halftime show. Okay. Uh, in the meantime, while we're getting set up, uh, here's how you can support this channel. Sorry, I have a little list of things that I keep forgetting that I want to do. Um, okay, so the first biggest way to support this channel is to get a Club Crochet membership. Memberships get you early access to future patterns, exclusive access to new patterns in the Club Crochet library. Um, I do like a bunch of exclusive patterns. I try to come out with like once, one a month. Um, and you even get kits mailed to your door with all the materials that you need. Uh, I do have a little announcement to make about last month's kit because I got an email this morning so this month's kit was shipped out earlier this week and we are, were making a, um, a sand castle. Here you can see it right there. Um, well, I'll be showing you this a little bit more in the halftime show as well. But uh, we've been making a sand castle and a beach ball. But it turned out that the sand castle actually I, I might have under... Um, uh, under guest on the yarn for the sandcastle. So if you're a pro member, look out for an email um, tomorrow because uh, I might need to make some updates to your kit and send you some extra yarn. Um, so just look out for an email about that. Uh, and I, I'm really, really sorry. I totally goofed that up. I, I don't know. I, I measure my yarn every time each month, but I must have just miscalculated. And I don't know. Some someone just sent an email that. Their, their kit was sh a little bit short, so I, yeah, I really goofed that up, and I'm trying to fix it, uh, and I'm putting in precautions for n later kits so that that goof up doesn't happen again, but again, you'll be getting an email about that next month, or I mean tomorrow. Ugh. Anyhow, what I was saying was, pro members get monthly kits mailed to their door with all the materials that they need, uh, and they won't be short on materials for from now on <laughs> if I don't even know if this month it might have just been a fluke for one kit but just in case I might be sending out uh, extra yarn to everybody anyhow so this month was uh, for a sandcastle and beach ball we'll talk about this more in the halftime show but things like that are what you get with a membership um, you can learn more at just clubcrochet.com uh, and yeah that's the best way to support the channel other ways you can support the channel um, you can uh, get um, merch, merch, merch. Yeah, that's right, merch. And the newest merch that we've got available, um, mostly is we have stickers right now. Um, there are t-shirts if you look down below. Here are some of the stickers that we have. Uh, and we have a brand new sticker that I'm really proud of. Check this guy out. It's a crocheting ogre. He's crocheting a little goblin. Isn't that cute? I'm really proud of this one. So this one's just added like half an hour ago. I added it to the to the shop. So if you want to support this channel and purchase any stickers, um, there is a link down below to find the merch, and you can get merch there, and I'll ship you out a sticker. I usually draw a little picture and say, like, thank you so much. 
So if you want to get a sticker, that's yeah, you get an extra little uh, little note with it too. So that's another way to support the channel. And the last way to support the channel is you can do a super chat. So if you look at your little chat box there, there's a little dollar icon. If you click that icon, uh, you can write whatever message you want, and it should appear on the screen. If I didn't, I might have goofed up that as well. But oh no no, it should it should appear on the screen somewhere on the screen with your little message. Um, yeah, so that's another way you can support the channel. Okay, uh, what else? Um, Oh, there's a new vote on the website too. I'm gonna get started actually, but it, while I'm, yeah, sorry, I'm a little di obviously discombobulated because of that kit uh, mess up. I felt so bad about it this this morning. So we're gonna start this pattern up. Um, this is kind of a big pattern. So I already made an arm and a leg um, just to get uh, like a little bit. Uh, ahead of schedule here because I knew this was going to be a really long one and it's really hot out So I wanted to get a little bit ahead of myself so I don't like start panicking or anything like that um, So we're gonna start with the arms and the arms are actually pretty easy and hello to the chat by the way I am here. I am seeing stuff um, Yeah, so Dan is in the chat. She he also emailed me about uh something about another kit. So, yeah, I just replied to him as well. Anyhow, hello to the chat. We're gonna be making the arms and the arm. This this pattern is nice because it's really is really simple. The only problem is there's a lot of pieces that need to be sewn together, which is kind of a, a little bit of a bummer. But you know, that's just because I don't like sewing things together because I'm a lazy bones. This blue yarn that I'm using right now, for some reason, normally this yarn is really nice and soft, but this one's like really coarse. And I don't know why. I, I got it from Joanne Fabrics. Um, and I don't know, for some reason, this one was just a little bit more coarse than the regular ones. It's just like a subtle thing, but it's enough to make me recognize it. You know what I mean, gentlemen? Oh yeah, and that's the other thing. Uh, if you like this, um, what we're doing here, please like the video down below and subscribe to the channel. Um, and if you hit the little bell icon, you'll get notified whenever I come out with new videos and new votes, like uh, for voting for uh, what kind of colors to be using for this kit. So yeah, a bunch of people that are subscribed. I think you need bell, like, bell notifications to get those little votes, but I don't know. Um, but they voted on what colors to use. A thousand people almost. Almost a thousand people voted for blue or for what colors to choose. And almost half of those people chose blue and purple, which is crazy. I was like, oh my gosh, okay, fine, I'll do blue and purple. <laughs> wow, we have 72 people watching right now. That's amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching. And let me know what you guys are crocheting in the comments also. Bella Knotts a lot asks, how long are you going to be alive? I'll be crocheting that. I'm going to try to crochet, uh, keep going to like complete this pattern, um, which will probably take at least two hours. So I'll be on for another couple hours at least. Let's see. Is there just one round? Yes. Okay. So we got an arm done now. Yeah, it'll probably take about two hours. Plus, we do a little halftime show where I show you all the things I've been making this month or this past couple weeks. And I've got a pretty good amount of stuff. I'm just going to keep them all right here. And as you can see, I've already made a leg and I've made an arm. So we got a leg and an arm already. Loda is making a dragon. I actually have been working on a dragon pattern. Um, I don't know when it's going to come out because there's just been so many, so many things on the horizon uh, because October is right around the corner and I have not notoriously gone above and beyond in October. Not on purpose. I just really like 
crochet patterns for October, like little Halloween patterns and stuff. Oops, we don't want to start with blue. We want to start with purple. Goofball. This purple yarn that I'm using is actually one of the first colors of yarn that I ever bought for crocheting. This is like over a decade old. And it actually smells like um, like lavender. It's a scented um, cotton yarn. And it's real. I've had it forever. I'm, this is all that's left. I bought a huge ball of it. And that's all that's left now. I used to make um, baby hats with it. And... Uh, yeah, I just never used it all. One, two, three, four, six. There we go. Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. We need to keep that in there. There we go. Uh, ten, ten, C, cat two. I think I'm saying your name right. Um, asks, will you make any spooky dolls for October? Yes, we're going to be doing a bunch of Halloween uh, finger puppets. Um, I'm not sure what the kit is going to be just yet, but it will be some kind of Halloween finger puppet. Um, I have some uh, patterns. I call those them pod people. Um, they're basically like little pod people. I don't really know how to describe them other than that. And... Uh, yeah, this this month or in October we're going to be making a bunch of different kinds. I have patterns right now for Frankenstein, a zombie, a witch, a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost. Um, but I'm going to be add trying to add two more to that, and I'm also going to be adding a few kits. Um, so I'm going to be adding uh, a few kits for for the different different little characters. I'm going to try to do a swamp monster and a mummy added to it, but it might be tough. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. I, I'm, I've also got a really cool tutorial in mind for next month for uh, these new color change charts. So there's a lot on the horizon, I got to say. I, I, I might have bit off more than I could chew, but I think I can do it. I think I can do it. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> so uh, in this pattern, I'm actually doing a, a, a fancy thing for these feet so that I can make... Here, let me show you. So that the, the stripes of the feet are a little bit more obvious. So I'm doing a little... Um, it, I, I talk about it um, a bit in my video on how to do the perfect stripes for your amigurumi. Um, you basically slip stitch into the first stitch that you made and then chain one and then work into the same stitch that you slip stitched into and it makes uh, your stripe a little bit, um, I don't know, cleaner. Uh, so I'm doing that for this pattern. It's not in the pattern uh, itself, but it's like a, an easy, an easy like hack kind of thing. Hey, Menomina. Thank you so much for feature, for tagging me. Yeah, if you, by the way, um, Club Crochet is on Instagram. I don't know how many people are aware of that, but we are on Instagram. It's just at club.crochet. That's our that's my Instagram handle for Club Crochet. So if you want to post a picture of what of something that you crocheted here, especially if you're crocheting it during this live stream. Uh, post it with hashtag club crochet or hashtag club crochet live. Um, I tried to get this new thing going on on these live streams where it shows the people that have posted to hashtag club crochet live, but it broke uh, before I could fix it today. So I'll try to get it set up so that it works better next next week. Yeah, I'm working on also a new video for how to crochet finger puppets so that next month's finger puppet videos uh, will make a little bit more sense and they'll be a little easier. I'm going to finish this leg and then I'm going to open this window wide because it is getting warm. It's, get, it's getting to that time in San Francisco. September, October, and November are our summer. Uh, it, it's really cold in the, in the normal summers, you know, all the way till August, basically. It gets really, really cold. 
um, and windy in San Francisco. But then in September, October, November, it gets like crazy hot. And we don't have air, any air conditioning in our house because it's normally not that hot. So it gets really warm really fast, especially under a lot of lights like this. Okay, so we got our arms and our legs done. Next up, we're gonna be working on the tail. Yes, but I'm gonna open this window first. So if it gets really loud, let me know in the comments. Oh my gosh, it's even warmer outside actually. I don't know if that's gonna help or make it worse, to be honest. I don't know. We're gonna find out. You guys are gonna see a sweaty Lou, though. <laughs> Probably. We'll see. Oh, man, I need to close it. It's smoky. So that's another thing in California. Right now, there is, um, a bunch of smoke because of all the fires that are around us so california is like on fire right now like everywhere there's a fire so the air is really bad we so i can't keep that window open all right Bum, 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 bum. I saw someone was making the stegosaurus. How cool is that? And hello from Brazil. Hello, that's so cool. Oh man, that would be bad. Hey Logan, I love your picture. Me and Jules do that. Uh, he's got um, he's got a picture. His like username is this uh, from the YouTube video, where it's like, I don't even. I, I'm really bad at imitating it, but it's like, and it's this like dog in an airplane. It's really funny. You should check it out. <laughs> Genesis just followed Wall. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. Manamanam has school tomorrow. Why did you become a teacher? You gonna? Are, do you have to do online teaching? Because that's gonna be rough. That impression with I think I can do the other character too. So in that video, like eventually he finds the this dog that's flying an airplane eventually finds a um a a nether dog in like a cloud or something, and the other dog goes, ha 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 It's a really funny video. I, it sounds weird if you haven't seen it, but it's very it's very silly. It's really silly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> dude, DLH. Oh my gosh, dude. You seriously did not need to do that. I really, really appreciate you. Check it out. It should be on the screen. There it is. Boom. DHL DLH975. Thank you so much, Dan. I think your name is Dan. I think that's Dan. Let me know. Uh, thank you so much, dude. That You really didn't need to do that. I really appreciate that very, very much. Uh, super chat. Okay, so I can do a little dance for you. How about I give you a little... Hmm, 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 I want to make one of my characters dance. Let's do this. I'll give you a little preview of what's in the what's in store for the halftime show. He'll start dancing. Let me get nice and close to the camera. This is for Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> That's a preview of what's in store for the halftime show. 
All right, so we have one. I think this is our last bit right there. Almost done with the tail. Wow, that's terrible. <laughs> that's what Genesis says. Thanks, Genesis. <laughs> Be afraid. The giant birds are coming for you. Um, okay. Cool. We Guys, we're flying. I'm flying. Here we go. And there we go. Now we got a little tail. You can see his little chubby tail. That's going to be sewn on the butt. On the butt. On the butt. All right. So now we got the tail, all of our limbs. Um, next we need his, uh, oh, the, the spine. And we're gonna be using a darker purple for the spine. Maddie asks, have I ever used acrylic yarn? I have used acrylic yarn. I'm personally not a big fan of acrylic yarn, to be honest. I've got a, uh, I just don't like it that much. It, first off, I don't like the, um, hold on. Chain 25. Okay, so I'm gonna need to count on, count this before I talk about acrylic yarn. Here we go. One, two, three, six, seven. Then get more yarn. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, one, two, three, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty, five. Hoy, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, that looks about right. All right. Um. So what I was saying is skip got it uh is i don't really like using acrylic yarn because um i like using natural fibers if i can uh also acrylic yarn i don't it squeaks <laughs> i know that sounds weird but it does um it's squeaky and i don't really like that very much one two Three, skip a stitch, slip stitch one. Ah, and then you go around them. Okay, I get what I did. See, it's been so long since I've done this pattern. Some of these things I just don't remember. This is how you dance to the song. I don't know if you knew that, but this is how you dance to the song. Dude, Jocelyn, thank you. Thank you so much, Jocelyn. Boom, right there, thank you. You, Jocelyn Smith rocks. That's what that says. <laughs> I'm trying to read your, what is your, just be who, I can't read the rest of that. I can't read what your profile says. I did get a haircut. I reached out to a haircut um, to my hairstylist and we did a masks on a haircut thing. It was, it was fancy. I was kind of nervous about it, but it wasn't that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. I needed one so bad. It was, my hair was bugging me. We need seven or eight? Count again. We need nine of these loops. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine. Uh, 
Oh, cool. Okay, then we got little tiny ones for the last bit. Hi, Artigurumis. Eritagurumis. And then do I just... Okay, I see. One, two, skip to my loo. All right. Yeah, I'm really excited for... To, uh, I haven't finished up the beach ball pattern just yet. I did the video the other day, but the beach ball is really, really cool. And it's kind of hard to explain without the pattern in front of me, but there's this like, I use this really cool color chart for it. And so I've, that's kind of what I've been trying to um, plan for for next month's pattern is that I'm I'm kind of redoing all these all these Halloween patterns to include this giant crochet color chart that I designed that I'm really really proud of. Okay, so I finished all our little parts. And now we can work on the the body. Sophie says, how about you crochet a coaster? I actually have a tutorial for a crocheted coaster. It's in my crocheting 101 series. Um, so that's the series for like beginner crocheters to learn how to crochet. And in that we, we do a crocheted coaster as one of the projects to get you started as crocheting. Dude, Kim, oh my gosh, guys, thank you. Wow, you guys are amazing today. Kim, here we go, ready? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Here he comes, bah! There it is. Kim! You are awesome, Kim. Let's see. You get a dance too. Let's see. Who's going to dance for you? Oh, I know. I got an idea. Here's a luchador. A luchador orc. I'll do a little dance for you. Ba, 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 ba. He's actually playing a marimba. You can't see it because it's off screen, but he's playing marimba. <laughs> uh, Leslie, the giveaway will be chosen at your at the halftime show. So um, we're going to be making our body for our little um, Chubzilla here. We'll get to where the color changes start, so we can add like the face and stuff, and then I'll uh, and then we'll get to the halftime show. What's my anagram type? I don't know what that means. D D Maps asks asks, what's my anagram type? But I don't know what that means. Dude, we got oh my gosh, another one, Lizzie! Holy cannoli! Boom, Lizzie, boom, Lizzie, you rock. You, okay? She she said club crochet is awesome. I'm going to have to say Lizzie Kilcran is awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Uh, Manamanam. Y'all, you don't need to be watching to win. Uh, the giveaway is for, um, last, uh, week's, um, hookup. So I did a hookup like a week or so ago. And in that hookup, I said that if you comment in the hookup, you'll, uh, you'll get a chance to win a uh, dinosaur kit. So if you want to, before then, go to that last video um, in my YouTube channel and make a, uh, um, and just comment down below, uh, you can have a chance to win. It won't count it if, you're, if you've already commented. So if you've already commented, don't worry about it. You're already entered to win. Um, but if you want to comment before uh, the halftime show, now's your chance. Now's your chance to enter the giveaway. You just gotta go to the last uh, the last YouTube video that I made. Um, I think it's called, it's just called August Hookup, I think. And you're gonna, and you get a chance to win, yeah, a dinosaur kit. I'm gonna probably do one for every one of those hookups that I do. 
Oh, uh, another thing that I wanted to update you guys on. Uh, there, so we did our first, um, a lot of people know this, but we did our first, uh, 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 uh movie night last week for, um, for Jurassic Park. And I think it went pretty well. I was really happy with it. But we're going to do another movie night, I think, at the end of this month. So if you want to, um let me know what movie to do so we're choosing the movie and it's between two movies it's between star wars and lord of the rings so if you want to decide help me decide which uh, movie we're going to do vote on the website so on uh, if you go to clubcrochet.com and you log in and you scroll down to uh on the home page you will find uh, a little vote and it'll say lord of the rings or star wars so you can vote there. You'll need a Club Crochet account to vote, but um, there you just need a free account, uh, and you'll need to be logged in. So just go to clubcrochet.com, log in, scroll down on the home page, and then vote for Lord of the Rings or um, or Star Wars. It's up to you guys. It's up to you guys what our next movie night is. Oh yes, and thank you, Melbell uh, put a comment in the comments down below with uh with what uh how you can enter the giveaway thank you so much mel you rock amy oh my amy 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 oh my gosh you're so sweet oh my gosh okay so first off amy rocks look at that holy cannoli ten dollars super chat you are amazing amy is a uh she's on tiktok uh um, I think she she just goes by her name there or Amy makes I don't remember comment what's your TikTok name in the comments I reached out to her a, a little bit ago and um, and she's gonna do a little TikTok for a dinosaur kit which is really I'm stoked about thank you so much Amy you didn't need to do that you guys are so nice today like extra cool you rock thank you um, yeah you rock Daniel Cook You've never seen Star Wars or Lord of the, the Rings? What? Oh my gosh, dude. You First off, you need to watch both of those. Um, you asked which one is less scary. Probably Star Wars is less scary than, than, than... Probably? I don't know. Amy Lang 1. There you go. That's her, that's her TikTok. Go check her out on TikTok. She does like little videos where she... Um, where she crochets things and stuff. It's really cute. It's really, really cute. I very much suggest you follow her if you don't already. Um, but yeah, neither one I would say is really too scary of those movies. But Lord of the Rings can be a little bit scary. I mean, yeah, it can be a little bit scary sometimes. You got you got to check them out though. They're so good. If you don't, whatever one we don't choose. Oh the lit. Oh okay, I get it. Manamanam says that Daniel. <laughs> That's you're funny. Yes, I will be. Um, Leslie, I will be putting who won the giveaway in the uh, community tab. Don't worry, don't worry. I will absolutely let you know if you have won. I promise. Um, yeah, you don't need to stick around. If you don't want to stick around to find out who the winner is, that's all good. You'll be notified if you are the winner. Alexis, thank you so much for, for that. Thank you. I, I'm i very glad that you're enjoying these videos. I mean, I enjoy doing it, so it's, yeah. I, I'm, in, I'm glad that someone else enjoys watching. Travis, you finally made it to the live streams. How you doing, dude? So we are on the head of our um, our dino here. I'm not sure what we're going to crochet next week, so I'm still kind of thinking about that. I don't know. I'll have to think it through a little bit. We might do something Mario related because we just got a bunch of stuff uh, 
announced for Mario. For so I don't know if you knew about this, but this um, this year is Super Mario Brothers, the original Super Mario Brothers 35th anniversary. It's been 35 years, which is crazy. Um, so what Nintendo's doing is they're coming out with like a bunch of 3D Mario games and a bunch of there's this really cool Mario Kart that is like it's a toy. I don't know. It's really cool. Check them out. You can find them like you can probably find a video about it on the Nintendo YouTube channel or something. Uh, but we're definitely going to be doing some Mario stuff coming up. So I'm thinking maybe that next week. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you guys want to do some Mario patterns? Good night, Menomenon. SSSS asks, what camera do I use for my videos? I actually use my phone. I actually use this. I, I don't know what iPhone it is, but it's one of the iPhones. Look at, you can see a little mushroom man on the background there. Okay. Look, there's my, that's my background. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's the little crocheted mushroom man. Anyhow. That's what I use. That's actually all I use to uh, do my videos. Okay, so I'm on rank. Okay, six and seven are both the same way. Got it. One. Oh man, a lot of people want Goombas. I'm definitely. I'll bring you a Goomba. Oh, D and D maps. I mean, maybe it'll be go Goblinoid. Every month is Goblinoid month, in my mind. <laughs> every month is Goblinoid month. Oh, uh, Marisville asks, how do I keep track of my rounds? Uh, let me show you how I keep track of the rounds. Um, I keep track of the rounds by looking at where my increases are from the previous round. So, if you look, let me just go ahead and crochet into this next one right here. Um. Yeah, okay, so let me show you. So if you look at the rounds, you can kind of see where the difference is between an increase or a single crochet is. Let me pull this really close and see if I can't. There, that's that's kind of in focus right there. So if you look right here, that right there is a single crochet. You can tell because there's one V going into one hole, right? And then the stitch next to it right here, that's an increase. So you can see two Vs going into one hole. So what I do to keep track of my rounds is I look where the last increase is. And you can tell this is the last increase. And I can tell because after it, there's no increase. See? So if you follow that, you can go one, two, three, four, five. This one is the last increase there. So you can see that above this increase is a single crochet. And because of that, I can tell that this increase must be the last one because the stitch after that, where there should be an increase, is not an increase, which means that that's a single crochet round. So that's how I keep track of my rounds. I can also I also look back to where everything begins. Basically, the gist is I've been looking at crochet stitches for more than a decade now, so I can just tell the difference between what the stitches look like, and I use that to keep track of my rounds. Um, I'll have to come out with a video where I explain that a little bit more in detail. I need to think it over how to explain it best, but I think it might be a fun and uh, useful video for people, especially for beginners to learn how to crochet. Yes, I, Evan, I think that uh, Mel Bell is right there. It's called Kirby's Epic Yarn. I've actually, I don't think I've ever played it to be honest. Yeah, Katie just uses stitch markers and usually um, I, 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 I should be using stitch markers. Really, I should be, um, but I don't because I'm lazy, because I'm a lazy bones. Yeah, no, no shame. Definitely no shame in using stitch markers. Absolutely not. I just don't because 
I'm just used to not using him. The music is great too. Thank you so much. We're listening to Animal Crossing music right now. So if you like this music, you might like the game Animal Crossing. It's a good game. Hi, Andrea. Okay, Lizzie, uh, feel free to email me. You can email me by just going uh, by emailing Louie at clubcrochet.com. I think Melbell put it above in the comments. Um, but yeah, if anybody needs anything, that's my uh, that's my direct email for Club Crochet. So I'll get back to you on that as soon as possible. I need to add a contact email for Club Crochet. So that, that'll be coming eventually as well. Yeah, using a bobby pin would work as well for a stitch marker. Whoa, we already got 99 likes on this video. That's amazing. Hey, if you like this video, like it. Post a little post a little like in the in the um There we go. Post a post a like in the or post a like. Yeah, post a like. Like the video if you can. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh man, actually, dude, Evan, you're gonna like this. Uh, Fall Guys is involved in the um, in the halftime show. Wait till the halftime show. I love Fall Guys. Me and me and Joel's have been playing it for a few uh, weeks now. Did I? Oh no, there we go. Okay, so I have just done my first bit there. So on round eight, it's. One, two, three, four, five. Got it. Genesis, you never seen Star Wars. You gotta check out Star Wars. Ten. Thirteen. Victoria asks, are you planning on doing anything Splatoon anytime soon? Not directly Splatoon related, so I'm not going to do any patterns that are like Splatoon. Uh, probably probably not like soon soon but in the well, in the rough drafts oh man, I meant to add this earlier but it's not it's not in the rough drafts just yet but soon uh, probably this week I keep saying that but seriously probably this week I'll add uh, the the rough draft pattern for this squid which is very splatoony in my opinion yeah Especially if you made the eyes different, you could make it very much look like a Splatoon squid. Wow, the chat is going nuts. I'm loving it. It's great, guys. Toad's never seen Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is honestly, I think, one of my top, top three movies of all times. Fellowship of the Ring. It's so good. Oopsies, did I miscount? I did. Okay. So that's 10, 11, 12, 13. Got it. And then we got an increase. And single crochet two. And then another increase. So this, I'm on, by the way, if you're following along, I don't know if you're following along or not, but I am on round, uh, I just finished round eight. Sorry, I need to count the rest of this. Eight. Thirteen. 
15. There we go. We are on track. It just barely goes out at the at the end there. So that's where we did our little increases. You can kind of see how the nose is going to be formed. What's my favorite Nintendo video game? Asks Lily. Hmm. I think my favorite Nintendo video game is... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I really like Breath of the Wild. I think that game is incredible. I think for the time being, I'm going to say Zelda Breath of the Wild, but that changes like all the time. I love Luigi's Mansion. I'm a huge Luigi's Mansion fan, personally. 13, and then do I do another increase? Yes, yes. Probably should be using a stitch marker now. Two, three. What's my favorite Roblox game? I've never played Roblox game. More inter interactive patterns. Yeah, I think interactive patterns are really cool for the... I, I got some ideas for um, more interactive patterns as well. I, I got into a conversation with someone uh, a week or so ago who was talking, I, w I was talking about like just my designs and they really liked the fact that all my designs are, um, not all of them, but a lot of my designs have like a purpose to them. And I think that's something that I didn't really notice, but that I really like. Uh, so for example, Stitched has a video, has a game behind it. Um, the dinosaurs also have a game that I'm working on, uh, which will be out whenever I come out with it. I got a million ideas. A million of them. But um, the reason I said that is because I think there's something I like about interactivity. Not just on um, not just on like the patterns themselves, you know, with the check marks and the YouTube videos and stuff, but I also really like interactivity when it comes to the design itself. I think that's really cool. Uh, Evan asks, what do I play Fall Guys on? I'm, I'm playing it right now on the PlayStation. I don't really have it on the computer, so I'm doing it on the PlayStation. Um, the Secret Life of Potato Eaters, I will get back to you after this live stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. I... Yeah, I've been uh, DHL says that he ha DLH says that he's got uh, he has a hard time crocheting along with the live stream because I'm probably a little distracting. Oh, I missed your message there, Soraya. Let me see. Let's see. What did you message me? Chewbacca. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you were talking about, but that is really funny. I think that my name is just Louis Loops. If you want to add me, a, send me a friend request on PlayStation. I don't know how to do that, to be honest. But um, yeah, my username is just Louis Loops. Feel free to add me. Four, five, six. Hopefully, I don't regret doing that later. <laughs> but yeah, that's my username on PlayStation. Okay, I think that's our last round there. And then, got it. <laughs> Sophie. Yeah. I, yeah, I, you know, I'm realizing more and more how much, like, practice I'm getting of talking and crocheting at the same time because of these live streams. I'm getting really good at like not paying attention to my crochet and still 
um, making stuff. There we go. This yarn is so weird. It's so like coarse. I feel like I'm my hands getting exfoliated by just crocheting this using this yarn. I don't know what Roblox is. Never played Roblox. I'll check it out. Um, no, I think they're all, I think it's all lowercase. I think it's just Louis loops, all lowercase, no spaces. Uh, Pico, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. I haven't, I haven't. Let me get back to you, uh, this week. Okay. About the subtitles. I'm so sorry. I've, I've just had so much because at the end of the month, each month, it, it, I really have a hard time like keeping up with stuff because the monthly crochet kits go out and so I need to like there's just a lot that goes on at the end of the month every month so I probably haven't gotten back to you because of that but I'll get back to you on email ASAP I promise Do I know how to stop friction burns with the yarn? One thing I've done, well, one quick fix to stopping friction burns is to uh, loosen your your grip. So if you crochet too tightly, um, that's what will happen. That's what will affect your uh, friction burns. In my uh, in my experience, that being said, I think the a good way you can fix that is. Um, Maybe try putting band-aids on your fingers where um, where your crochet is going. Uh, that that could help out so you don't like actually like you can see it on my hand actually right now. You see that little see how it's getting a little red right there? That's what she's talking about. Friction burns from crocheting. Um, I don't think I'll have a problem because I uh, this I'm you know I'm only I'm like halfway done with this pattern. But uh, if I was crocheting like even more than this uh, with this yarn specifically. Uh, I might want to do, I might want to add like uh, something like a, a band aid on my finger or use gloves or something like that. Does anyone struggle with making the arms and legs the same? <laughs> Sometimes I do, personally. Yeah, secret, yeah, I'll get back to you after the live stream. Um,. Am, yes, I am Evan. I am the turtle wearing the hat. That is my that's my profile picture. I think new. I think uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf has one of my favorite soundtracks from the Animal Crossing games. The new game is the soundtrack is okay. I mean, it's good. I just. Um, I don't know, New Leaf has such a good soundtrack. I love it. Just finish the tail and Oh, that's I Victoria, I think that's fine. If you could get into both loops for the reason round two is worked into the back loops is because it's kind of hard to work into both loops. So I wrote it, I wrote it as going into the back loops uh, to make it a little bit easier for people to crochet. So if you didn't work into the back loops, I think you're going to be fine. Yeah, I totally agree with you, Pico. The, the New Horizon soundtrack, it's nice. I mean, it's not terrible. But the the previous ones were, I think, a little bit better. Ha! <laughs> I like that. Maris Bell made the brontosaurus recently, and accidentally made two legs longer than the other two legs. <laughs> and so she used them to make him stand up straight. That's funny. That's cute.
So if you're having a uh, Jaskal says that has tension issues. Um, so if you're having tension issues, maybe um, a couple of things. Could, I mean, you know, you've been crocheting for a few few years, so I think uh, practice makes perfect there. But also, um, I think like really focusing on on how you're doing your uh, tension, like making that the primary focus for an entire project. So like really focus on, okay, I want all these stitches to look the same. So I'm gonna do the same thing after each stitch. Like for example, when I'm crocheting this pattern, after every one of these stitches, like boom, I finish the stitch right there. I always, every single stitch, am tightening the it just a little bit like that. Okay, so like look at this next stitch. I'm gonna crochet it and then I just tighten it. You, it's very subtle that I'm doing it, but I'm tightening every single stitch just a little bit so that each one of the stitches are as tight as the last ones. Um, yeah. Uh, how long, Maddie asks, how long will Chubzilla take? Uh, I think I'm about halfway done and we've been crocheting for about, I believe we've been going for about an hour. Yeah, about an hour. So I would say about two hours, maybe two and a half hours, because I did make those arm an, an extra arm and leg already. Okay, so this next round is one, two, three, four, five, six. Got it. So the next round I'm doing invisible decreases. I think I'll start using a stitch marker after this round so I don't lose track of where I'm at. Yeah, exactly. So I think that's why I'm saying, Pico, I think it'll take about two and a half hours normally for this pattern. Maybe three, I don't know. Two to three hours is how long I think this pattern probably will take you. One, two. It takes practice to be a pro uh, um, thready printer. <laughs> I was talking to someone recently and I, I mentioned that I think crochet is like 3D printing and then I said it was like thready printing. I thought that was funny. That'd be a fun t-shirt maybe. Just says like, I'm a thready printer. That could be fun. Yeah. But Amy, like you were saying, I'm definitely getting a little bit of a of um, friction burn from this yarn, from this yarn specifically, because I don't know why, but it's very coarse. It's not as like soft and cushiony as as this yarn usually is. It's very squeaky too. Okay, so now I want to do. You can see how the face is going. See how it's going to go in now? And we're going to put little noses right right there. See? You can see it on the side. It kind of looks like... Um, um, have you guys seen uh, uh, Adventure Time? Uh, there's some somewhere in... Advent, uh, later on in Adventure Time, uh, there is a character called... Um, Gunter, uh, well, there's a character called Gunter that's a penguin, but later on in Adventure Time, there's a character called Gunter that is a dinosaur. He kind of looks like this. Let me know if anybody knows what I'm talking about. That's a very, very specific reference. <laughs> um, okay, let me grab a little bit extra of my purple yarn here so I can use it as a stitch marker. Might make my life a little bit easier. There we go. Oh, I messed up last round. I messed up this round. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. I need to read my pattern better. There we go. I meant to do two invisible decreases. I only did one. So let's fix that. And then what, four? One, no, two. 
Yes, Gunter. Gunther. Yeah, I should say Gunther. Yeah. Man, I love I I just rewatched uh, Adventure Time uh, like last month. That was my rewatch series that I was doing. And then I started watching um did have you seen the uh, there's new episodes on uh on HBO Max for like it's the future. It's after Adventure Time has like the story of Adventure Time has happened already. Um, and there's a, there's an episode with Bimo that I really liked. Um, but I need to watch more of them. They're kind of like little mini movies, though. I think there's going to be six of them or something. Victoria, you got to get that fly. You got to get that fly out of this room. Oh, my gosh. It totally likes, looks like the guy from Bubble, uh, Bubble Bobble. Good reference. That is, yeah, you're totally right. So the diagram, Amy Groom. So Soraya, uh, Soraya says that she wants to learn the diagram, Amy Groomy. And I want to tell you that I'm working on a brand new Amy Groomy color chart that's going to be coming out pretty soon. Uh, the one of the patterns for it is already out for the uh, planet Earth. So if you want to try it out, try out the planet Earth pattern. I have like the diagram for that. But also this new pattern that's coming out for the um, for the beach ball, which I can't find. But for the beach ball, I have the diagram up for that one. So that'll come out this week as well. Uh, and then I'm working on a video where I'm just going to be talking about like, here's how to use the color chart, crochet color chart. And I'm going to make a video where it's like, here's how to make a color chart if you want to make your own. So all that is in the pro is in progress. It's going to be coming out soon. Yeah, I've done actually a few patterns for BMO in the past, uh, but that was like a long time ago. So I should maybe look back into that. Um, but yeah, someone asked, Sophie asked, are the new episodes good? I think, yeah, definitely good. If you like Adventure Time, I think you'll really like the new episodes uh, that are on HBO Max. <laughs> Sophie's funny. Yes, uh, Monty. Great, great input there. I like it. Um, so Monty says, have you thought about making a shark Amy Gurumi? Um, they are your favorite animals, and there's so many different ones you can do. I totally agree. I think sharks are going to be really cool uh, in the future. Um, I kind of wanted to do them this summer, but obviously that got away from me i wasn't able to finish them in the summer uh, so i'm gonna have to save them for next summer i think but there will definitely be shark patterns i've done shark patterns in the past uh, so i know how i'll do them i just need to put in the effort there there's just so many patterns to make you know there's a lot of requests but i promise you shark patterns will be on the website soon ish Ying, uh, okay, so Ying asked, do you mail your monthly kits overseas? You're thinking about subscribing, but you're in the UK. Well, here's the thing. No, not yet. Uh, but they will be available for international shipping. I'm trying to do it by the end of this month. So if you keep a lookout, I'll, you'll get an email coming out uh, sooner that says, um, if you are a monthly, if you want, if you are an international person, kits will be available soon the problem is the website isn't built right for international shipping because it costs a lot of money to do international shipping so i'm trying to figure out the best way to make that uh, available and i've got some guy helping me on uh, the website so i think that's the problem is that i have a hard time designing like on top of everything else you know i'm designing patterns i'm designing i'm doing i'm recording and editing videos i'm doing all the social media stuff so there's just a lot like I I just haven't had the time to uh, really figure out how to design the website very well. So I have someone helping me out with that now. Uh, so sure answer is international shipping to pro members will be out very, very soon. Hopefully by the end of the month. I'm really trying to get it by the end of the month along with bulk memberships. So I'm going to make it so you can purchase memberships um, in bulk if you want to. Okay, I'm just gonna, actually, let's finish this round and then I'll do the, the eyes and uh, we can do the halftime show 
after this round. Oh, I messed up this round already, though. Four. There we go. Increase right here. Four, increase. Got it. Oh, a lot of comments. A lot of comments. Sorry. Um, one, two... Heidi, are, are we going to make any more Animal Crossing villagers? Possibly, but I suggest you check out Sir Pearl Grey. Uh, he makes a lot of am, Animal Crossing uh, patterns. Uh, so that'll be like the quickest way to get those patterns. But that being said, we are going to be working on some uh, pretty soon. Um, like a new a new few Animal Crossing patterns. They're not going to be villagers, but they're I think they're going to be pretty cool. I think you'll like them. Let me make sure I have this stitch count right here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. Yeah, I think we're gonna be on right. One, two, three, four, increase. Yeah, we're we'll good. All right, let me just finish this round up here. Have I ever had crochet burnout? And if so, how do you remedy a burnout? Um, yes, I've definitely had crochet burnout. Uh, I think the burnout is for me when it comes to t t doing tutorials I get kind of sometimes I get exhausted of it um, so my remedy there is to just give myself a break and but it's hard it's hard I, I don't know the best remedy other than to just give yourself give yourself the time you know don't force yourself to do something that you don't want to do especially if it's uh, if it's something that's supposed to bring you happiness Can I make a penguin? Absolutely. That's actually already on the um, the suggestion. So I have a Google document with all the suggestions from live streams that I, I've been adding to it. Um, so it's actually already on that list, including a shark. A shark is on there too. Okay, so we are done with that round. Let's go ahead and pull this. Actually, let's just leave it in. Okay, I'll pull that loop out. To see how our little face is turning out. Looks pretty good. Um, okay. Grace. Grace, hold tight. Grace asked if I can make a fall guy. Just hold tight. The halftime show. You're going to like it. Um, okay. Okay, Soraya. See you later. Um... Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Let's do the face real quick. And then I'll come back. Um, all right. I'm going to start by adding the eyes. Now, where did I put the eyes? Between rows eight and nine is where I did it. So let's count off one, two, six, seven, and there's eight and nine. So it's going to be like right here ish. I just got to make sure that they're equally apart from each other. I did three stitches away from the increase. That looks like it's going to be too wide, though. So maybe we go like here. Or here. Ah, that's why I said eight stitches. Because that's a perfect eight, isn't it? I think we go a little closer. Or. I'm not going to lock in these eyes just yet because I am afraid that they're going to move. I'm going to want to move them later on when I do the belly. So what we're going to do. So I'm just going to leave them in like that, and I'll come back and I'll lock them in after I start the belly. So that way I make sure that they're perfectly centered. I'm not really sure where I want to put them yet. Okay. We're going to put this guy to the side, and we're going to say it's the halftime show. Yay! Yay! Hoo -hoo! Hold on. 
Hold on. Should we get the puppet? Let's get the puppet. I'm gonna do it like this. Wait, 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 I'm not here. Hold on, it's not me, it's someone else. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Halftime Show, brought to you by you. <laughs> what is the Halftime Show? Huh, now is the Halftime Show, and here's what the Halftime Show involves. Um, we're gonna be doing the giveaway, and um, yeah, I guess I'm just here to introduce the halftime show. So hi, welcome to the halftime show. Okay, bye. I'm Bluey's Loops. <laughs> Thank you, Bluey's Loops, for introducing that. Um, that was him and not me at all. And we're gonna be doing the halftime show now. So first off, we're gonna start with getting this yarn untangled from my tippy toes. Because there's yarn in my toes. First off, let me show you some of the stuff I've been working on. So the, the biggest thing that I've been working on uh, is this castle pattern. So you've seen you've seen the sand castle. Okay, wow. Isn't that cute? Cool. A sand castle. Sand castles are cool, right? But you know what's also cool? A regular castle. So I've been making a bunch of these. I've got um, different colors and stuff. And what's really cool about them is that the this there's like a drawbridge here and the drawbridge can actually be opened like that and then you can actually check it out watch you can close it and there's a little string on the back that closes and open the drawbridge so this is a new tutorial that just came out like last week um, I'm really really proud of this uh, I think it's really cool and I think you guys will like it so this is the big one that I wanted to show off in this uh, halftime show. I also have rules in place for stitched. So I've been, uh, I try, I practiced it last night. So um, in stitched, uh, there's a new, I, I have a new game mode where you can uh, use a castle as your home base and you have to destroy the castle um, and you can steal the flag on top of the castle. So I'll be talking about that eventually on, uh, on the stitched uh, Patreon page. Um, if you want to learn more about that, go to stitchthegame.com and I talk more about that. So let's put this guy to the side. That's the that's a big one for me. Uh, it took a long time. This pattern actually isn't also designed by me. Originally, it's designed by Never another Amigurumi artist that goes by Ravencraft Designs. So I reached out, you know the deal. I reached out, asked her to do a uh, help out with the design for Club Crochet, and she kindly helped out with the sand castle which I transferred into a regular castle and I added some just I I did some changes to it but it's pretty much mostly her pattern so check her out she goes by Ravencraft Designs on uh, Instagram and she's got a website called Ravencraft Designs as well you, if you go to this pattern you can find links to her stuff all right another really big one that I'm so so excited to show you guys ready I gotta find, I gotta find them all. Where's the other one? Oh, I think he's over somewhere else. There's a pigeon. This is coming to the rough drafts very soon. I'm so excited about it. There, there's a bunch of different ones. Here's a, here's another pigeon. And here's another pigeon. So I've been addicted to making these pigeons and there's a bunch of little perks that are involved in this pigeon. The first one is, uh, check this out. Is upside down? Oh. They're magnetized. They got magnets in their bums. And the reason I did that is so that they could sit on my, um, on curtain rods and you can put them on top of curtain rods so that they, they, yeah, they're cool decorations for curtain rods. Um, Next, another cool little thing about this. This guy's gonna come out. Um, this is this pattern is gonna come out eventually. I don't know when yet, but it's really. It's, I'm really proud of it. Check this out too. Check this out too. You can turn their heads. And here, you want to know why you can turn their heads? There's a super little secret for it. Ready? Because <laughs> they're not really pigeons. You thought they were pigeons. Ha ha. I fooled you again. Because these are not pigeons. No, no, no. 
These are little burbs with helmets. <laughs> They're little burbs with helmets. Look how cute. They got these little masks like their mascots or something. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They each got them. Check it out. Boop. <laughs> the little burbs with masks. Isn't that funny? Patterns will come out soon. They're really, it's a really easy pattern to make too. I, I can make these in like, in like uh, just about 30 minutes, you can make one of these. And there's one more, one more little trick about these guys. Let me get the other one really quick. So check this out. These ones don't have this feature on them yet. So I got to add it to them, but check this out. There's also a little string. You see it right there. See a little string in the back? Watch this. They poop. They poop. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? <laughs> so, yeah, so these new little pooping pigeons, I've been calling this one Peter the Pigeon. Uh, this is the original one that I designed. Uh, so these are, um, these are coming out sooner rather than later. There's, I mean, there's so much to them. First off, you can, uh, they're, cute little pigeons also you can turn their heads also they don't they're not really pigeons they're little burbs secretly and you they can poop <laughs> they can poop <laughs> isn't that great yeah so um yeah so these these are coming out soonish uh they're gonna come out to the rough draft patterns first um and yeah I'll keep you updated on those. And then I have one more thing I want to show you uh, in the halftime show before we choose the winner of the giveaway. So, last thing. Also coming to the rough drafts very soon is, and I think a lot of people are gonna like this, especially like Evan and stuff. We have a little fall guy. Look at that. Hello. Ow. Look, this is him falling. So I'll add this to the rough draft soon as well. It's another really easy pattern. Um, it's really simple. Not too tough. But yeah, this is all the stuff that I've been working on over the past few weeks. Um, there's other things as well, but uh, I don't feel comfortable sharing them just yet because they're not just done yet. Uh, but yeah, I most am proud of these little burbs. I think they're so funny and I, and I'm just I'm addicted to making them. I think they're just so they're just so silly. Like look how silly that is. So my plan is I'm going to make like I have I think I have about 10 of these guys made so far. I'm going to make I think I'm going to make like 30 of them and I'm going to hide them all around the city. And just have little birds hidden all around San Francisco. So that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Well, before we get back to crocheting, let's choose our winner. Let me pull up the YouTube uh, comment. Winner picker, that's what we're looking. Here we go, okay. And we gotta pick, pull up the video. So I've got this really cool way to choose a winner where it'll randomly choose one of the comments from that, uh, that video and it gets rid of duplicate comments and everything. So it's really simple to, to do, to use. So all I gotta do is I need to copy that link. Yep, they're called little burbs. That's what I'm calling the, the bird that's under them. Filter duplicates. Yes. Okay. All right, so we're gonna be choosing a winner for the the giveaway. Here we go. There's a lot of comments. It's it's calculating the comments right now how many people entered the giveaway. 516 people entered the giveaway. That is a new record for sure. And the winner of the giveaway is Wait, that one didn't work. Hold on, it didn't work right. 
K C K Bear. So C K Bear is the winner. Let me find that comment. He says, they say, I really like the Stegosaurus. I'm pretty much a beginner. Oh, how great. We got a beginner too. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so the winner is someone named CK Bear. I don't know if they're currently in this live stream, but CK Bear is the winner. I'm going to reach out to them directly. Ah, oh, sound, sound, sound. Sorry. I'm going to reach out to them directly. And hopefully we can find their comment. And I'll reply to their comment right now. And I'm going to pin that comment to the top. Once once I find it. I mean, there's like so many comments, though. Maybe I'll have to do this after the live stream. But you guys heard it. Okay? So, you heard it. I'll be posting something about it tomorrow on the community channel on YouTube. And across probably all, all my social media accounts as well. Um, so... CK Bear, if you're out there, I will uh, message you about the the giveaway. Um, A S A Pizzle, that that's rap for P. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for entering. We'll be doing another giveaway just like that. Um, uh, probably at the end of the month at the on in the next uh, monthly hookup. So next time you see a monthly hookup, uh, we will be. How do I go to it? Aha. I can find his channel and stuff too. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Well, I'll finish up looking for this guy later so we don't uh, fill up too much of the time with the live stream winner. But that's the winner. He goes by CK Bear. Thanks again, guys. And uh, we'll be doing another one of those soon. Okay. So let's get back to crocheting. Let's move all of our silly little birds. Look at that. They can. Oh, these ones. these ones are repelling each other. Oh, these ones are repelling also. These ones will connect? No. This one will repel? Oh, they're all repelling each other. They don't like they don't like each other's butts. Some of them some of them the, the magnets like connect so that the birds like stay together. I can actually put them I think I think I'll Oh no, they're all they're all backwards. There we go. Anyhow, let me put these to the side. I'm glad you guys like the birds. I'm really, really proud of them. All right. Happy halftime show. How fun, how fun. Okay. All right, Pico, I'll see you later. It's give or take a million degrees in this room, too, so if you can see, I am swatting. I'm swatting, but I'll be all right. Okay, Dino Cats. Dino Cat asks, uh, she says, he or she, I'm not really sure, says that they love the birds. Do you think you can make a llama? I think, you know what? I think I could make a llama, but there's another artist. The artist that did this pattern actually has a really cute llama pattern. Uh, so go check her out first. I mean, I'll probably come out with a llama pattern eventually, but in the meantime, um, uh, you can find uh, Ravencraft Designs has a really cute uh, llama pattern to, to work on. Sydney, was that a pun, Sydney? Sydney says, um, two, one, two. Sorry, wait one second. Oh, got it. Okay. Um, Sydney says, uh, when is the bird pattern dropping? Now, I don't know if that was a pun, but it is very funny. Uh, and the the answer to your question is, I'm not sure. Soon, probably pretty soon. Um, I would guess the the rough draft is probably going to be done by the end of the month and into the rough draft patterns. Uh, and then I'm going to take people's advice. So there's like a lot of suggestions that go into the rough draft. So I have people test it out first. In fact, if you have a membership account, you'll get access to the rough drafts. Uh, you just need to have a yeah, Club Crochet membership, and you have access. You can even get a membership with the free trial. And then probably in November, I'll come out with the actual pattern. 
Um, it depends. I entered, I used, I'm using this pattern to enter a, a like a, a contest for an amigurumi um, like pattern designer, uh, which I'll get notified this week if, or I mean today if I won that, that thing. And if I did win that, then that pattern is going to be coming out within the next week. But if not, um, like I'll, I'll just fast forward the pattern and, and I'll just put a lot of work into it this week. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Uh, that I didn't win the giveaway or the the competition, which is fine, you know, whatever. Um, so I'll, in which case, I'll come out with it in November because I'm really busy this month. Kind of hoping I don't win it just so I don't have to like do a bunch of extra work next week. <laughs> but that's, I'm, I mean, obviously, if I won, that would be cool too. Fantasy Amis and such says uh, you should make more fantasy ammo groups like Devils and Demons. I totally agree. Uh, I think Devils and Demons are going to be a um, uh, patterns in the future for Stitched. Uh, I have some ideas for how to make them into Stitched characters. 123 likes already. Oh my gosh. Hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like it down below uh, and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're not subscribed. If you click the little bell icon, you'll get notified whenever new patterns come out. Um, there should be a new pattern out this week, actually, for a beach ball. But yeah, please like the video. It gets people, it gets uh, viewed more by other people if, if it has more likes. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. What, where are we? Where am I? Okay, so we are on... Oh no, I messed up last round. Uh-oh. Okay, we gotta go back. We gotta go back. We're supposed to do the belly. Three, four, five. Got it. Really? Oh no, eight. So wait, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Seventeen. So it's this round. So now is where we're doing the belly. You won Fall Guys because of me? Oh boy, you're very welcome. It was all thanks to me that you won Fall Guys. Um, 14, 15, 16, so we got 17 here, and then we change over, got it, and got it. And then how many? Eight. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, see, this is why I didn't want to attach these eyes yet because we're gonna have to move them get out of here get out of here <laughs> thanks Kim Jong-un I'm so glad you like my glasses Kim Jong-un <laughs> It's eight. Yes. I mean, those eyes are almost centered, but I think I need to move them over just a little bit. Let me count this one more time. Seventeen in blue, and then eight in purple. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. We good, we good, girl. Uh oh, for piano for messed up the. Oh my gosh, fantasy is and such. You are very welcome. Fantasies and such sells little goblins on Etsy, and I loved them. I thought they were so cute, so I bought a couple. They're actually sitting right there. I can see them right now. Um, but yeah, she's got a bunch of little goblins I like. Ah ah ah. 
Earthquake. There was actually an earthquake this morning here. There was an earthquake. Oh no, I just realized I messed up again. One, two, three, four. Ugh, man, I am on a roll of just goofing up here. Three. There we go, four. Aha! So some of the eyes are going to be centered, actually. <laughs> lucky, lucky. Luck be a lady tonight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we're on it now. We're on it. And then I do an increase here. I got you. What was the magnitude? It was a 3.8, I think. I didn't feel it at all. Jules felt it, though. It was at 11.45 today we got an earthquake. Hopefully, it's not. there's not going to be another big one soon. I mean, this would be a bad timing for an earthquake. We got fires, we got coronavirus, and then an earthquake. Let's hope. Let's hope we don't get a big one soon. Let's hope we, it waits a little bit. I mean, we're going to get a big one eventually, but hope it's hope it's not soon. Okay, we are on it. We're on a roll. And it looks like the eyes are actually centered pretty well. Uh, yeah, send me an email, Piano Forte. And I think, should I just lock the eyes in there? Hmm. Let's do another round of the belly first. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, the earthquake was... I mean, it wasn't great, you know? No one... Earthquakes are scary, but it wasn't... It wasn't too bad. So we are on round 17. And... Okay, so it's the same thing, but with one more. Got it. Do I have any tips for sewing limbs on? I'm doing the brontosaurus and can't seem to get the legs in the right position. Well, let me tell let me tell you first, Monty. Monty, have you have you watched the video for uh, those legs? There's a video tutorial where I teach you how to crochet the legs and and it teaches you how to sew them on. Um, it's specifically for the legs of that pattern. Uh, there should be a link in the pattern itself that'll take you straight to the video um but if not email me i am pretty sure there is though uh and the tip that i have will come when i sew these legs on but basically i use the center of it to play to choose where the center of the stitch is going to be and then i count the stitches around before i sew it on i'll show you when it comes to uh sewing on the the limbs of this guy which should be soonish. I think we might have to try the window again because it is getting straight up toasty in here. Yeah, sewing things together is notoriously very difficult, so it's just a tough thing to do. Yeah, I'll I'll give you a little a little tutorial once once we get to the legs though. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, the those legs specifically, um, you can do. There's like one trick for those legs is that there's only six stitches around when you're sewing them on. So if you look for like six holes, so usually it's like I'll put it in here and then I find six holes around that 
that one spot. So for this example, it'd be like, there. It'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six. See how there's like six holes around it? So I find where the center is, and then I find the six holes that are directly around it. Let me get it closer here and show you again. So if this was the center where I wanted to go in, okay, so if like this, let's do it the other way around. So like, see where that needle's in? That's the center. And then I want to find six spaces around it. So I'll go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I sew them into that those six holes. And then I find the other spot that's equally in the same place and I find that's the center and then yeah hope that helps but again I'll show you that in just a second let's keep going let's keep rocking and rolling ba -da -ba. okay we looks like we got Three rounds that are the same after this, which is nice because it's easier. But before I get to those three rounds, let me let me make sure that this face is where we want it, and let's just uh, go ahead and lock it into place. I know it's going to get a little bit bigger, but then it's going to go over more. So maybe we want this eye. Let's see what this eye looks like if I put it over one stitch. Just one stitch over to the right and see if that looks weird. Dun, 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 dun. I think that looks good for the eyes. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and call it. Let's go ahead and get that in there. Up to you, Sophie. You might be able to just hide that chain on the inside though. Let's use, actually I have some slightly darker blue. Maybe we should use that for the nostril. What do you think? Do you think slightly darker blue for the nostrils? Or do you think I should use the same light blue for the nostrils so that they're more subtle? Let me know. Let me know. I'll do this next round and I'll keep track of the chat as I'm going and I'll make my decision based on what you guys think. Now this round, it looks like we do 17 of this color and then 10 of the next color. Yes, so Dan, Dan, you're totally right. Here you go, Dan. Check this out. Oh, 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 darker, darker, same blue. Yes, do it. Chazilla doesn't need a subtle snout. Okay, everybody's saying darker blue, so we'll do darker blue. But in the meantime, as I'm getting there, Dan, um, for round 16, here is what it looks like. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to see here, but round 16, yes, you're doing your increases, and then the here's where the color changes start. So this is the increase. This is the second increase right here in round um, 16. And then it's like you do three single crochets in your first color. Second increase. That's, that's stitch 14 is the second increase. And then it's stitch 15 16 and 17 all in the original color and then you change colors and then you have two in the new color and then an increase in the new color okay and then after that it's it's uh three more or four more in the new color and then you go back to your original color let me know if that helps We're gonna do that darker blue. A lot of people saying dark blue, so let's go with that. I'm 
we'll do one nostril. Here. Let's see what it looks like if I do two in the same, like that. And then, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. What do we think about that? Yeah, it can be a little tricky, Dan. It can be a little tricky. But once you get that round, that that's, I think, the trickiest part, is that, that single, that one increase that's in between the, the color changes is the trickiest part of that pattern. Sorry, I needed to grab my charger plug for my iPad. So I can keep track. <clears throat> OK. I'm just going to go ahead and stuff it up with this blue. I think I like the dark blue, though. Slither Marie. Is that because you're a Slytherin? I wonder. Dean Dmaps thinks it looks too thick by doing the double one. Maybe. Let's see what the other one looks like first. I think I kind of like the double though. Yeah, I think I like the double. It looks more like, like, I don't know. It looks kind of silly, but I kind of like it. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with this. I'm a Slytherin too, Marie. Slytherins. You know, we're not all that evil. Sure, we got a couple bad apples, but we're not all that evil. We're just determined. There we go. Sometimes I can throw this needle and it's, I have this little magnet up here on the left side of my box. Sometimes it sticks to it, it's kind of cool. Uh-oh, yeah, we got a house for again. Okay, so we're gonna continue going. My friend has a kid, uh, she is really young. She's only, um, I think she's still under a year old. And um, I think her birthday's in October. And she, uh, I gave I gave him a, a Chubzilla to give to her and she loves it. She's like, she just really thinks it's so cute. She holds it all the time, goes to bed with it. And it's so sweet. One, two, three. Yeah, okay. Eight, nine, and then ten finishes that. Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, oi, oi, oi. Slytherin all the way every day. Slitherpuff. You are you are a rare a rare uh apple, Mr. D D Maps. Just here to be wholesome with a little dab. 
Taper, yes, tapers are cute. Me and Jules just watched Ice Age recently, and they have, um, they're not tapers, but they're kind of, they look like tapers in it, and I thought they were just so cute. All right, how many more rounds do we got of this here? Another one, just go past that. Oh boy, guys, we got we still got a lot to go here. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'll make it. I hope. Let's try, let's try opening this window again. Oh, I gotta unlock it. One second. It's just so warm. Yeah, it's a little cooler outside. We're gonna try keeping that window open. Save me from dying from heat heat exhaustion. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize YouTube had those little emojis also. That's pretty cute. Ah! Bumped the table. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. I'm a tapping machine. That's funny. Whoa. Riverside, California. 115 degrees out? Oh my gosh, that's hot. Ugh. Ugh. That's what I have to say to that. That sucks. <laughs> that's just no fun. I'm really sorry. I hope you're I hope you got air conditioning. Yeah, it's tough. I gotta say, living without air conditioning is not that fun. Especially when you have to be home. You know, like, we can't. I can't go to a movie theater right now and, like, to cool off. I can go to the beach, though. I might do that after this. I might go read a book on the beach. I'm reading, um, right now, I'm reading the book, uh, The Martian Chronicles. It's a book by Ray Bradbury. Um, I'm, I think he's my favorite author. Uh, he's, um... And it's about it's about like uh, humans going to Mars for the first time, and and this is written in like the six, 50s or 60s, I think. And so it's very um, maybe it's a little later than that, but it's it's very uh, like you know they didn't know much about Mars, so there's aliens and stuff. It's fun. I it's, I, I like the book a lot. I'm a really big fan of Ray Bradbury though. He's the one that wrote um, Fahrenheit 451. I actually don't like that book. So I'm not a fan of Fahrenheit 451, but I like the rest of his books, like The Martian Chronicles and um, The Painted Man, or The Illustrated Man. That's a really good book, too. If you're looking for some kind of like science fiction-y books, uh, and I really like The Martian Chronicles because it's a bunch of short stories. So my favorite kind of books are the ones where there's a lot of short stories in it. So I can start and stop and it's not a big deal, you know. Ooh. Parable of the Sower by Octavia Butler. Oh my gosh, I'm totally gonna check that out. Let me. I'm gonna type the, that into my search browser right now, so I don't forget it. Parable of the Sower. Thank you so much for the for the. Um, thank you so much for the for the. Uh, Suggestion. I lost my I lost my place here. There we go. 
All right, we're good. Yeah, something Ricky this way comes, I like too. That one's a cute one. I like that one. <laughs> Dude, Kim Jong... The, whoever's name is Kim Jong Un, this is so... It's so funny to see Kim Jong Un uh, commenting, this is so... This live stream is so wholesome. I feel com so comfy. <laughs> I'm glad that Kim Jong Un is, is comfy. I would not want him, our glorious leader, to be to be uncomfortable <laughs> so silly you know I so I don't I usually don't read very often Mel Bell but I um, recently have been taking a little bit of time every single day I go um, I take a trip to the beach because we live right outside it. So I, I have this little spot in the dunes where I hide away and it's it's right in between two dunes. So it's like there's like two dunes like this and I, I lay like right in, in the crook of it so that the wind blows right over me so I don't get hit by any sand or wind or anything. And I just place my towel down so that it's like against the wall like that. So I'm leaning like, like that and uh, I've been doing it every day for this month and reading, just reading while I do it. Uh, and then I read a few chapters in my book and then I, um, and then I open my phone and I write scripts for videos. And that's what I've been doing once a day for a, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half every day. And it has been so nice. I used to bring headphones out to the beach and like listen to music while I was walking on the beach. But I gotta say, not bringing headphones out is really just a nice break from doing work. It's like, it's been really nice way to, for me to think of my ideas for videos and stuff like that and really like, really try to, um, try to organize my brain. Cause I mean, you guys know, I come out with like a million different little ideas. So having a little bit of organization in my brain is very useful. Hi, Gotcha Pink. How you doing? <laughs> well, Dan, after round 16, it gets a lot easier. I, th I think. I think it's easy. I mean, you're still got to deal with the color changes, but the color changes, like, stay in the same place, so it's kind of more easy to keep track of. Oh, my life's a joke. Thank you so much. Your life is not a joke, but I appreciate your comment. If you read with your kids, it absolutely counts as reading a book. I, I think that counts double for reading a book. One day I'll have kids to read a book to. Oh, now here's another difficult round. Dan, round 21. It's not easy. So you got five, one, two, three, four, and five, and then invisible decrease. Um, yeah, so actually Dan, that's something that I think is really interesting that you're saying here. Dan says that he kept the other color underneath the whole time, but just notice that I keep cutting them. So that's something that I talked about in my new pattern for the, the beach ball. Let me grab it actually, and I can show you the difference between the two. Ugh. Where's the other one? It's somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. I got a beach ball somewhere. Well, I don't know where it is, but let me just show you. Oh, we lost the we lost our dinosaur. Oopsies.
So I have a few different versions of this beach ball that I've made because I wanted to practice color changes a lot. Um, this is something that I really need to talk about more, but uh, the, the beach ball pattern is really cool for a lot of different reasons. Um, first off, the pattern, uh, it's great because I'm using a color chart for this pattern. Uh, again, this is coming out this week. Um, so this is a brand new amigurumi color chart that I've been designing. It's a new way to read color chart color changes for amigurumi that I think is a lot easier. I did it. I used it in my Planet Earth pattern, uh, and it was very useful. Uh, Lizzie actually sent me an email about it, um, and I really appreciated that. Um, so, uh, uh, but in this pattern, not only do I talk about how to read that amigurumi uh, color chart but also how to do color changes so that you have, like, look how clean that color changes. See, look at that. It's like pink, white. <laughs> There's a little bit of bleed through with the blue there because it's so dark, so much darker than the white. But you can see that there's not any really bleed through in the mid stitches. And I talk about how to do that in that video. I'm really proud of it, actually. I, I, it took a long time. I think the video is like two hours long. <laughs> Maybe not, but there's a lot of, um, yeah, the Chubzilla was looking for the, for the, uh, for the beach ball too. Um, it's a little bit long of a video, but it, I think it's going to be really helpful, especially for beginners to understand how to do color changes a little bit easier. That's gonna be 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, we want to do 16. So 13, 14, 15, and there's 16. And then is the first one invisible? No. Four. Five. And then this is an invisible decrease. I'm going to leave the blue this time, I think. Yeah, that, so, yeah, never mind. One, two, three, I think there's only seven. Seven, yeah. Oh, no, this pattern seems off. I think I messed this up. I'm gonna do mine a little earlier. I think this pattern might need a, a refresher here. I think the color changes on round 21, I have goofed up and I never noticed it. One, two, three, four, five. I'll look into that after this video. So much to do. Hey, Tessa Lauren, you are you're new. Hello and welcome. Two, three, four, five, six, and then there's only seven. Yeah, seven. Let me change back to blue.
What does invisible decrease three mean? That means that you're going to invisible decrease three times in a row. So an invisible decrease, I'm actually doing one right now. Uh, so Daniel, this is how you do an invisible decrease. If you're looking at my pattern here, you go into the front loop of the next two stitches. So there's a front loop and then a second front loop. I find it's easiest to do one at a time, but there you go. So you want to get under the next two front loops and then do a single crochet working into those two front loops. So then you yarn over, pull under those two front loops, yarn over again and pull through two. And that's how you do an invisible decrease. And invisible decrease three means that you want to do that three times in a row. So there's one, two, three. You don't want to do it again and again. Hope that helped. Um, my Oh, Tesla, you're working on a seahorse. How cool, how cool. That's very cool. I'm, that's, that's exciting. Uh, and welcome to the wonderful world of crochet. That should be, that's our gonna be the Louis Loops theme park one day. The wonderful world of crochet. Yeah, so I think what I did somewhere, I messed up my pattern somewhere. I don't know where, but I did. Now I have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's sixteen. Oh, so that should be eighteen. So eighteen. One, two, three, four. That'll be 30. And I'm trying to get down to 36. Okay, so I don't know where, but I messed up my pattern somewhere. So I'm just gonna make a fix by just single crocheting. I actually think the pattern is fine. I think I screwed up the pattern somewhere. I don't know where, but I did. And I don't think I got the energy to figure out and fix it. Uh, yeah, okay, so DD Maps asks, what's my favorite and least favorite thing about crocheting Amy Gurumi? Um, let's start with my least favorite thing. My least favorite thing is counting stitches or sewing pieces together. I probably sewing pieces together is my least favorite part about crocheting in general. Um, specifically with Amy Gurumi though. My favorite thing about crocheting Amy Gurumi is just the the idea that you can make your own, you, your, you can 3D print, thread D print your own anything, anything that you want. You can make it. It's the coolest art form ever and that you can do it anywhere. Honestly, there's, there are a million things that I love about crocheting. One, two, three, four, and then it's Oh yeah, t yeah. So, <laughs> that's good to know, Tancelary. Laren, uh, yeah, that's something that I think a lot of crocheters need to uh, realize is that we're all making mistakes. I mean, mistakes are fine, and that's what's great about. That's another thing that's great about crocheting is that you can make mistakes like this, and it's like whatever. It's not a big deal. Uh, so that was, that was one, two, three, four, five. So 10, 11, and then it says 14. So 12, 13. And then that's 14. And then this is an invisible decrease. And it's a, yeah. And then how many do we want with this? Six of these. One, two, three, four, five. It feels wrong, but whatever.
I don't know where, but I, I, I totally messed up somewhere on this pattern. You Here, this is where you can tell. See that? Look at that. That blue stitch shouldn't be there. Whatever. Mistakes happen. And I will live with it. He's got just a little bit more character now. That's all we're going to say. He's got a little bit of character. Four and then five. Okay, so then one. Yeah, I don't even know where I made my, my mistake, so I'm just going to live with it. It's okay. It happens. There's another. How did I? Let's do this invisible decrease, and then I'm going to check where, how many stitches I have again. This is why I should use a stitch marker more. Let's count my stitches again. One, two, three. Twenty, twenty, one, twenty, two, twenty, three, twenty, four, twenty. Yeah, I have one too many stitches. Did I miss it? It's because I missed the last invisible decrease from the round before. I'm dead. I am now. I, now I am dead. It, because I am a dumb idiot. We're just going to put the invisible decrease right in the beginning of this round. Because I don't want to. I don't want to deal with it. So I'm just going to put another decrease right here. And now we're going to be the right amount of stitches. I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm just going to do something here. Who's King Ghidorah? I don't know who that is. Maybe I do, but I don't remember. Siraya, I can. Uh, first off, I really like your username uh, or your profile image. But Soraya asks, can I tell the story on how I started crocheting? So I can tell that story. I've told it a few times before, but we'll tell it again. So I started crocheting in high school. Um, I started with, uh, well, I started to just get really crafty in high school in general. Um, uh, in I think it was sophomore year of high school I started to just make uh, a lot of it was mostly like uh, books I would I would bind books together or I would do um, uh, what's that um, I would make mix CDs and I would do the cases for the mix CDs and then I found something crocheted online so then I started to um, I was like oh my gosh you can make a toy out of yarn how cool is that I live right next to Joann's, like uh, just a block away. So I walked over to Joann's and I bought the materials that I needed. I bought yarn, I bought a crochet hook. The crochet hook I bought was plastic. And, where, how did I mess this up again? One second, I need to count these stitches again. Yeah, so one, two, three. Okay. Okay. I th actually, I, I don't think I really did mess up. 
Um, okay. So, I lived, yeah, I lived right next to Joanne, so I went over there, I bought a plastic crochet hook, which was a goof, and then I, uh, learned how to crochet an octopus, and I broke three crochet hooks, and I went back and forth to Joanne's three times to go buy new crochet hooks before I finally decided to buy, um, uh, a metal crochet hook, which was a really good... Oh. Okay, Monty, um, my bad. I'll fix that. I'll fix that after this video. Uh, another thing to do after this video. <laughs> um, so anyhow, I, uh, and then I started crocheting things for, um, I had a crush on this girl in high school. Uh, and so I just started to make a lot of different crocheted things for her. Uh, she really liked owls. That was the big thing. So I would crochet owls, all these kind of owls, and I'd hide them in her locker and stuff um, and with little notes in them to ask her out. Uh, and she eventually did decide to go out on dates with me. Uh, and we dated for a long time, for like three years. Uh, but the relationship wasn't great. Um, I'll be honest. I, I didn't I figured out pretty quick on that I didn't really like the relationship, but I did get crocheting out of it, so it wasn't all a loss. I got uh, I got my favorite art in the entire world from it. I guess that's kind of the story. There's more to it. I mean, I got into crocheting. Um, my, my big thing was uh, crocheting beanies originally, so I made beanies and hats, um, and then I raised a bunch of money to get uh, a, a computer for um, that girl that I was dating uh, by just selling hats because she was going into college. And then um, that's when I realized that I could probably make money off of crocheting. I could probably do this as a business. But uh, yeah. Oh, and then I started doing YouTube videos when, because um, when I first started crocheting, I, I actually just learned how to do the single crochet and how to crochet in the round. That's the only things I learned. Um, and so I made up a lot of stitches. Uh, and so I had to like come up with a way to explain those stitches when I wanted to come out with tutorials for it, you know? So I started doing uh, videos. That's why I started doing videos was because I needed to make um, YouTube tutorials because the stitches I was using there was no name for it. there was no tutorial online for it so I had to do my own let me cut stitches real quick one two three four one two yeah that's fine um, and how did I break three hooks I broke because I just was crocheting with plastic and I was just crocheting so tightly because I was just starting out and I didn't know what I was doing. So I broke three crochet hooks doing that. Um, but yeah, so when I started doing YouTube videos, that's when I started to, um, I had a friend who worked at a company who um, would sign uh, YouTubers onto uh, their platform and help you get more subscribers, right? So it was, it was, they were called MCNs. There's not really as many today. But he said if I started doing YouTube time lapses and crocheting YouTubers, then he would sign me to the company. So I was like, all right, I can do that. So I did that. And I started doing time lapses because of that. Uh, and then he signed me to the company. I got, I got like a thousand subscribers the next day, which, which was really nice. Um, that company didn't do much for me after that, to be honest. They just kind of took money from me. But uh, it was a nice boost initially. And then uh, in those YouTube videos, uh, because there were time lapses, at the end I would start doing like little stop motion animations with my characters. And then I really got into that. I thought that was so cool. So then I started doing a lot more time uh, stop motion. And yeah. I guess that's that's pretty much the gist of it. Hey, um, I forgot to mention how to sew this on. So let me tell you in the, in the next arm. Um, someone was asking they needed help for sewing things together. And I forgot to mention, I forgot to explain what I'm doing. So I'll explain in just a second. 
Yeah, the plastic ones are garbage. Never buy plastic crochet hooks. Ah, D and D maps. I love the little poem. That's so cute. <laughs> nice addition with the pigeons up poo. Okay, let's show you how to do how to sew on this other arm on this other side. So, I want to make this arm in the same spot on this side. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to find where the center is. You can see I've like the center looks like it's in this round. So I'm going to find where I want the center of this arm. Looks like maybe like right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I th have two ends of this piece, right? There's there's this tail end that's connected to the center and then this tail end that's connected to the outside. So I'm going to thread this tail end on the center first. Thread that onto a needle and find the center of where I want this arm. And you can see this arm, I have it just a few stitches away. So if this is the belly, I have it one, two, three stitches away from the belly. So let's try to make it equal on the other side. So we go one, two, three. So this is where I want the edge of my arm. So I probably want the center of my arm one stitch over. So we're gonna go like right there for the center. See how that looks. Like that. That looks about, yeah, it looks good, pretty good. So then what I'll do is I'll thread this other end on a needle. And this piece has nine stitches around, okay? I just know that because I made the arm, uh, but there's nine stitches that we need to sew onto the piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find those nine places that we wanna sew together before we start sewing it. Uh, and we're gonna go, let's start like right here because we're gonna need more stitches around. And we know we're gonna work into this one we know we're going to work into this one. So we count around. So we go one, two, three. Let's go four, five, and then six, seven, eight. Hmm. No, that was not going to work. How high up did we sew this? So now I'm looking at where the top of this arm is sewn on. And I'm trying to equalize it on the other side. So we need to go all the way up to this round. We need to get all the way up to this round. So we're going to start here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna go down two rounds. So we're gonna go all the way down to this round. Nope, we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's a little circle that we're gonna make. We start right here, one, two, like that. And we just don't, the, the big thing is we don't wanna go into rounds that we didn't go into on the previous arm so that they're, they're lined up equally, you know? So that the bottom is lined up with the bottom and the top is lined up with the top. And then I'm just simply sewing it on. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope that helps. Let me know if that doesn't help and uh, maybe I can try to explain it better next time. Yeah, plastic hooks for larger projects probably is not a bad thing. I just don't like using plastic hooks for like small projects like this because it's they just break because I have to crochet tightly. Okay, let's now now that I'm like halfway through sewing this on, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to count uh, how many stitches I have left to make sure I go into the right stitches. So so far I have um, I'm working into that one. So we got one, two, three, four, five. So I need to find the next five holes. So we go one, two, three, four. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Let's go up a little bit higher then. And always remember to stuff your stuff before you finish like this. I don't want to... I don't want to get to the problem where I 
haven't stuffed this up, so I'm gonna just stuff it now. Because there are definitely times when I forget to stuff things, stuff arms, and then you feel like a real goofball because it's really hard to undo that. Don't forget. That. How many more stitches we got? We got one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, that works. So we'll go one over here. And two right here. And then three is always the first one that I worked into, that I started with, so that we're all the way back around in the circle. Okay. My life is a joke. Good night. Good night. Good night. Those arms look pretty good, I think. If you ask me. Kim Jong-un, where do you even get your... Is there any craft stores in North Korea, Kim Jong? <laughs> Fantasy, yes, of course I'll be making more stitched amigurumis. Absolutely. For live streams, absolutely I will be. I just haven't been able to recently, and I've kind of been focusing on the dinosaurs because I really am proud of those patterns. Okay, now we can do the legs. And what's nice is we can, I think, cover up our mistake with this leg. Because you know how that mistake's right there? I think we can just cover it up with one of the legs. We'll do the legs like that. You know? You know what I mean? That's gonna be nice. You just ordered from Amazon. They deliver to North Korea. That's crazy, man. Yeah, of course. He's got to be the real Kim Jong-un. You can't just have a fake name on, on YouTube. That's sarcasm. He's not the Kim, real Kim Jong-un. The real Kim Jong-un is my friend. Me, Dennis Rodman, and Kim Jong-un get along really, really well. <laughs> I am just kidding. Super into fascism. That's that's one thing about me. Just kidding. You're my friend. You're just not the real Kim Jong Un. Just kidding. Maybe you are. I don't know. The real Kim Jong Un's YouTube uh, name is uh, uh, Butt Boy Twenty Eight. That's his YouTube. That's his YouTube channel's name. Yeah, he he. That that's that's also his uh, Xbox Live username. Butt Boy uh, Twenty Eight. A lot of people don't know that about him, but it's true. Two, three. We got him, boys. <laughs> I kind of wish I sewed that up a little bit higher. It's going to be like sitting with that. Yeah, let's. Un I'm going to undo some of these because I, I, I want it to be higher up. I'm being a little perfectionist now that I know I can cover up my mistake. So I've been watching a lot of Battlestar Galactica recently. Anybody seen Battlestar Galactica? Me and Jules started watching it. I've watched it. Uh, I've watched it all the way through 
I think twice, but it's been a really long time since like high school. So I don't really remember a lot of what happens in that. So I thought, oh, you know, I'll rewatch it. And then Jules was like, what are you watching? Battlestar Galactica, and I was on the first season. And she was like, well, let, I'll watch it. So I rewatched some seasons and it was great. So we're gonna go up to here instead. All right, let's try this again. Never watched Stargate. Never, never got into it. Um, I'd like to check that one out too, though. The legs are gonna be really high up. I kind of like that. Bum, 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 bum. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. go down then to here. How's that looking? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great. All right. We're getting it now, guys. We're on it. Do I play Fortnite? Yeah, I def definitely play Fortnite. Um, fantasy Amis and such. We are listening to Animal Crossing music right now. Um, yeah, we're listening to just the Animal Crossing, like a, a big, huge song playlist of just a bunch of Animal Crossing different songs. Um, but yeah, uh, someone asked if I'm play if I play Fortnite. Oh, for uh, Piano Fort asked if I play Fortnite. I don't know if he was talking to me, but I do play Fortnite. And I'm very good. I'm very good. I won. I almost got a turkey yesterday. I almost won three games in a row. So close. I got second in the last game. Me and Jules play together, and we are a dynamic duo. We're very good. My two games that I play the most on the Switch, and... Melville will probably be able to vouch for this because I see her online every now and then and she probably sees what games I'm always playing um, but the two games that I'm playing the most recently have been Smash Brothers and Fortnite I'm really good at Super Smash Brothers I found out the other day that I'm in the top 1% of players it, I, I vary so I was in the top 0.5% for a while but then I I did really bad one night, and then I got down more. But I'm very good at it. I play Yoshi, and I'm super good at Yoshi. Yeah, add the stuffing at the very last second. Guys, we are at 155 likes. That's crazy. If anybody hasn't yet, please like this video if you can helps it get seen by more people I wonder how I wonder wonder where we're gonna put this like wonder wonder what's in a wonder ball you guys remember wonder balls I just realized with my window open I bet my room my neighbors can hear me talking to myself or like 
Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my friends on the internet. I've actually never played Skyrim, Monty. Never played it. I've always wanted to. But it seems like a big investment. You know? Like, like takes a lot of time and stuff. Obviously, I think I'd be... Um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. Let's go one, two. So how's your guys' crochet projects going? I know we got someone making Chubzilla. Mr. Dan is making Chubzilla. Struggling with them color changes. No, I stuffed the feet. I stuffed this foot. This foot's stuffed. I need to stuff this foot still. Kim Jong-un made a crop top for your Google Home. <laughs> That's so funny. I used to play Minecraft a long time ago, but I, I haven't played Minecraft in a very, very long time. So let's kind of stitch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Wait, wait, one, two. Perfect. There we go. I guess this leg might be, I think we might be a little off center, but I don't really care. I think it looks good. Sometimes I really like, I like purposefully crush say things a little off center because I think it adds more character to the piece um, specifically when I'm making like ogres and stuff so that they're like facing in a specific way so we got one uh, so one two three four one, two, three, four, five additional ones. So, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe we should go up instead, though. Yes. One, two, three. Like that. Yeah, I usually wait, Lizzie, I usually wait till the last second to stuff uh, up the legs. That's so funny that you did a crop top. You're going to make a top hat for it later? Oh my god, that's so good. There we go. All right, so we got our legs, we got our arms. We need to sew on our tail. We're getting close to the end though, which is nice. Nice. Oh, do you hear the, can you hear that? Can you hear the motorcycles outside? Every Sunday we have a, like a, a whole bunch of motorcyclers drive by on Sundays and they love making just a bunch of noise because they're super cool wow so cool on their cool little motorcycles broom broom I make in front of them we can try to get 200 I don't know if we're gonna 160 
We're at 160 likes. Dan thinks we could get to 200. I don't know. Maybe. You did hear it. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's going to get... This boy's going to get nice and chubby. He's going to be a nice little chonker. A little chonky boy. Oh, I hope Jimbo and Phoebe are okay. I hope they're not too warm. They're probably napping in the other room. <clears throat> Let's count our stitches. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two. That's not bad. Chunk boy. I put, um, I made, I, I've been playing with, uh, putting, uh, catnip in my, in my toys. So I started with one of the beach balls. And so I put some catnip in there and I gave it to, um, Phoebe and Jimbo. And Phoebe was like really into it, like too into it and was up all night just running around. And I was like, oh no, I shouldn't have done this at night. One, two. Let's go one, two. We'll go over a little bit more than we we're expecting. That's what dogs do, Mel Bell. They'll eat your they'll eat your crochet. Gotta stuff it. Almost forgot. Oh my gosh, that's so that's a great idea, fantasy Amis. Oh, we have our little castle. He'll eat our he'll eat the little castle. He'll terrorize the castle. One, two, three. Yep, we're good. All right, we got our tail, we got our legs. Um, just one more thing we wanna add to our character before we start crocheting him closed is we wanna add his little spines, which can be tricky, like really tricky. But look how great that the, remember how we messed up in the belly? Look it, I covered it up. You can't even tell we messed up. Ha 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 ha, where genius is. He looks so bald. Let's give him let's give him a mohawk. Like that. I think I'm gonna start yeah, let's start at the top and then we'll work our way down. Now, the way I like to, sew, I'm gonna sew this on is I'm gonna fold him in half like that. We're gonna flatten our chunky boy so that way it can be perfectly sewn in half. Let's start, let's start like right here. There we 
Yep. <clears throat> I'm gonna go all the way down to the tail like that. Bar bolt. Wait, make him a top. Hat. Oh, a top hat would be fun. A top hat would be fun. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to a top hat in this video because we've already been going for <clears throat> almost three hours, and I'm and it's very hot in this room. Um, I'm actually going to go all the way up to that one. But a top hat would be funny. And then we're just going to go around like that. Let's see how well this works. It's pretty good. Oh, our music, our music finished. That's how long we've been live streaming for. That we finished a giant, huge. So we're gonna go to Pikmin now. I forgot about this part of the song. The far reaches of space. We're jumping a little bit ahead. There we go. Two. Are you excited for Pikmin 3 to come out on the Switch? Because I know I am. Pikmin's my favorite. Oh, that might be my one of my favorite Nintendo games. It was Pikmin 3. I love that game. I love Pikmin 1. But going back and playing Pikmin 1 again, it's like, it's a really, really good game, but it does get like, um, I don't know, repetitive? And like, kind of difficult because it's an old game. Oh, dude, Dan, are you kidding me? Dan, again? Oh my gosh, Dan, you are amazing. You're incredible, dude. Look at this, Dan. You're so sweet. Thank you very much, dude. I really, really appreciate you. That, that, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we are on, okay, so we are closing this guy up. Dude, seriously, man, I really appreciate your your support. That is really sweet of you. How's this looking so far? Okay, Lizzie. Yeah, it's really late there, I'm sure. Bye-bye. I'll talk to you later. I'll send you an email back probably before you wake up. <laughs> That's looking pretty good.
effect. Okay, I lost, I got lost in thought there for a second. You know, you know, that sometimes happens when you're crocheting. You get, you get like really focused. I love it. I love when that happens. It feels um, like meditation or something. That's looking pretty good. Couple stitches over. Almost done. Oopsies. Final Space? What's Final Space? I've never watched that before. Yeah, it's really fun to just get like lost in thought as you... Because once you're in the zone, especially when you're like actually crocheting, you know, sewing stuff together, you have to focus a little bit, but when you're actually crocheting, and just listening to music, especially music without lyrics and stuff. For me, I can get really lost in thought, thinking about something completely different, or someone, or stuff I'm, you know, just thinking. And it's really nice. Okay, we're almost done here with sewing this thing on. That. That's pretty good. Go around this guy. I'm going to go back in to the body and then I'm actually going to just work around this for this to, to lock this yarn into place. Ho oh, ho, you chunky boy, you little chunky boy. <laughs> Look at this chubby boy. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, continuing to crocheting. Get all of those little ends stuffed in there. I'm gonna crochet around this end just a few times so that I can lock it into place. And yeah, so we are on, I don't even know where I'm at. One, two, I think we're in, yeah, we're on round 24. There we go. There we go. I'll oh, see you later, Sophie. See you maybe next week. Yeah, we are really, we're really up there, huh? We have almost got three hours, but we're almost done. We're almost done. You can imagine how exhausted I am in, in a hot room too. <laughs> I'm very hungry also, but we're almost done. We're at the home stretch, guys. I try not to make these live streams last this long, but sometimes that happens. I'll check it out, yeah. I do like, I like Adventure Time, so I'll probably like Final Space.
My right index finger hurts a little bit. I'll be honest. But it's not that bad. And I'm so close to being done. Okay. Let's get some stuffing. Let's give this guy a little bit more chunk. I say also we have we still have fi there's 54 people watching. Still. That's uh, amazing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Monty. I'm thinking that exact same thing. I'm thinking I order a little bit of KFC. <laughs> Monty. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm not going to tell. All right. I'm definitely getting a little bit of fried chicken, though. That is definitely a plan. I'm using a polyfill. I'm not super into polyfill, but it's the best option that I have currently. And then I'm also using the extra threads that I've cut off that I'm not using, you know? So that we can have a little bit less waste. Stuff them up with all the threads that we used. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> bye bye, Jackal. Toodles, Barbula. Again, make sure to give it a like before you before you head out. Okay, we got one. What stuffing do I prefer? I prefer, um, I prefer, well, I mean, polyfill is probably the best one just for like, it's basically like pillow stuffing. Um, so I think that's probably the best one that I've been using for a while. I've been using it for a while too. Oh. Well, whatever. The music's getting weird. I like it. Yeah. Oh. Almost done. Once you're close to the end, it feels even, you know even more like drastic. You're like, go, go, go. I don't know if we'll make it. We are at 173. We only gained 25 more likes, but I don't, I don't think we have enough people watching that haven't liked, you know? And that's okay. That's okay. Also, people will like it after the live stream too. So I, I think a decent amount of people watch the live stream afterwards. Yeah, I can see what you're saying there, Monty. Sometimes you like a little bit of like elasticity to your pieces. I, that's something what I, that I do like about cotton though. It's like you can like kind of kind of uh, mold it. It's kind of like clay. Amy Clay Rumi. <gasps> Amy Clay Rumi. Okay, just a few more decreases here. One, it's the last round. And I can stuff it and sew it close. Pop, 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 The end of the day song. Ah, so close. All right, last decrease. One, two, buckle my shoe.
Whoa, my crochet hook's coming out. Look at my crochet hook. It's coming apart. <laughs> I'm crocheting so tightly. There we go. Let's stuff this guy closed. Dude, Genesis, yeah, I've been seeing them. Thank you so much on Instagram. Thanks for tagging me. I appreciate that. And it's it's really cool seeing the um, people, I uh, seeing things that that other people make with my patterns. I think that's the probably the best part about making patterns is seeing other people make them too. Yeah, that's that's probably a really good move, actually, Jas Jasko. I've never done that. That's a really smart idea. S switching to a smaller crochet hook just for the last few rounds. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna go buy an. I need to get a set, a new smaller one. I have one somewhere, but I don't know where it is. This chunker takes a lot of stuffing. He's like a, really like a pillow. I mean, like he is. All right. Just a little bit more. Make sure we got his butt. So he's got that big dino butt. We want we want our we want our Chubzilla to have a chonky bum. <laughs> Honestly, I can fill it with all this stuffing. Jeez, took like. What the? That's why he's so chubby, because he's eating, he's eating up all this stuffing. All right, that's probably good. We're gonna make that count. Ho 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 ho! He's like a baseball. Okay, let's sew it closed and call it. And guys, I just really want to say, everybody who has stuck around, who made it all the way to this end, I mean, I cannot express to you how much I appreciate you. Uh, it, it really means a lot, not only that you just came to this live stream, but that also you stuck around all the way to the end. You're incredible. Thank you so much. And, and yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you everybody for um, crocheting along with me. It was a great time. I'll be back next Sunday. I don't know what we're making just yet. Maybe Mario characters, maybe not. I don't know. I'll decide later this week. If you uh, like this video, make sure to like it down below. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And, uh, and hit the little bell icon so you get new notifications. All that fun stuff. You guys rock though. You guys, I mean, it, it means a lot. All right, let's get a. Let me change the camera angle so we can get a better, better view of our little chunkosaurus here. Can. There we go. Low, 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 low. That. That's pretty good. And then we'll just tilt it up. And there we go. Huh? Pretty good. Man, what a pattern, what a pattern. There's our chunky boy. Love you guys. Yes, and thank you all. Thank you, Mods. Thank you, Melbell. Thank you, Sarah. You guys rock. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Um, oh, does he, she have a name? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any ideas for names. Hey, if you got an idea for a name, let me know in the comments. Not in the chat, but in the comments of this actual video. If you want to name it, name it there. And also, Amy, Amy Lang, thank you for so much for sticking around the whole time. You rock. Yeah, name it in the comments of the video. Not in this chat, but in the comments of the video itself. Yeah, suggest some names. And I'll put a little poll uh, later this week. Yeah. 
Oh my god, it totally looks like a decoy doll. Totally. Yeah. Name in the not in the chat, in the comments of the video. Cause cause the chat'll like kinda disappear. I mean it doesn't really disappear, but it like kinda goes away. Yeah. Okay. Alright guys. Pasta La Pizza. Thank you again for watching. Happy hooking. I'll see you next Sunday. That's my little dance. I'm a pretty good dancer. It's like not a big deal. I'm gonna go to the beach. Eat some fried chicken. Let's see which one is it? This one. Yeah. Bye guys. <laughs>